Hello everybody. I thought today I would talk to you about how to get out of fairway bunkers because I know that these are the bane of many golfers' existence. And one of the things that you've got to remember is that when you are in a fairway bunker you normally want to make some distance down the golf hole. So it's imperative that the club head hits the ball first and then the sand. And this is completely opposite to what you're trying to do in a greenside bunker. Now when I'm thinking about my best escape from a fairway bunker, I actually start thinking about it before I even set foot in the sand. So if we look across here, you'll see a couple of balls in the bunker. And before I even go in the sand, I draw a line from the golf ball up looking to see the bank that I need to clear. And if I decide that I think that I can clear that with a 5 iron, when I go in the sand, to be sure that I'll get out, I go with no more than a 6. So you can really decide your club from being outside the bunker. Right, what do we do now when we are in the bunker? There are a number of things that I do to make my escape easier. First thing you have to do is you want to wiggle your feet into the sand to get a really good base. Now when you do that, remember that you've got to counteract that by going up to the very top of the grip. If you do not do that, you will dig deeply into the sand, which we do not want. So number one, Wiggle the feet, number two, grip at the top. I also like to put the ball back a little bit in my stance because that helps me get a more descending blow. And I normally swing about 85% of my power. But the absolute key is something that is impossible for you to see in a person's golf swing. The last thing I do before I draw the club back is very slightly tense my forearms and that shortens the radius by a minuscule amount and it helps you get the golf ball a little bit thin and thin is good as long as you have enough loft to clear the lip. So let's give it a go. Firm base, top of the grip, ball back in the stance, 85% of the power and lastly just firm up or tense up your forearms. So you can see from that you can hear the sound of the club hitting the golf ball. Okay, so there's a very easy little checklist that I'd like you to run through. I think you'll find it helpful. Let's try one more. Stable base, top of the grip, slightly back in the stance because that gives us a more descending blow, a steeper angle into the ball. 85% of your power and lastly, most importantly, this little tensing of the forearms. If you carry out those little checkpoints, you will find escaping from these fairway bunkers and making a decent distance down the fairway considerably easier. But always remember with your club selection, don't be greedy.